Hey guys, um, gonna be roughing it uh, for next uh, 17 days. It's day one, actually out in a tent and um, experiencing homelessness for the first time. Um, the last time being in a tent it was by choice and uh, we were just camping. Uh, but this time uh, pressure on, is on and I'm actually in a camp outside in a park and um, no regrets the way I look at it is um, is something I have to go through and uh, experience things you know I've uh, have nothing but experiences since 2014 my life has been a whole a whole you know games of mind control and uh, manipulation and uh, hatred and attacks verbal assaults and humiliation yeah so this is another uh, thing that I have to add to my you know to my scale of things that I have to experience in life and um yeah so the way i look at it is uh it's a good learning experience being being able to say that i've i have been homeless before you know um i was never a homeless person before in my entire life and uh, but this time is a first experience but it co is co lines with uh you know since i've been targeted i've been going to country to country and so it's a form of homelessness as well because i'm going to countries that are not my home and uh, so you don't have to be really out in the street in order for you to experience homelessness you could be in somebody else's country not by choice do you think i enjoy going to uk or going to um, other places globally and stuff no no, and actually, I'm just going because, you know, the pressure is on and, um, you know, I have a lot of hatred for me and stuff is clearly is hatred. And um, I was listening to, um, um, what his name, Kali Amura, he has a channel on YouTube. You know, he talks about, you know, these people don't know how to forgive, know how to uh, so how to be sorry, and um, they don't know how to apologize for the things uh, that they've done to you. How could someone not able or or unable to show that uh, a sense of guilt, remorse for others when you do them wrong? And, and when you apologize to someone or you're trying to seek forgiveness or, uh, you know, or whatnot, you, come, you have to be sincere. You cannot be like just a word, words you say and, and your heart is not in the right place. It has to be, uh, it has to come from a right place, you know, from your heart and stuff. But um, I feel... Um, and all of you guys target individuals I'm pretty sure you feel that this program is coming to an end because like they tested all this uh, test for artificial intelligence and stuff and uh, they tested it and they programmed this beast and um, and nothing forever so for all other target, target individuals you must know that um, nothing is forever you know you then you're not going to be in this program for the rest of your life Some, everything is going to come to an end you know and um, I know how I'm just kind of uh, you know talking about what's going on uh, anyhow uh, it's day one in a camp and um, and I just have to do it for 17 more times.
16 actually more times 17 day at that time get the hell out of here you know and i could do it you know i'm very optimistic and i feel like if I've gone through fire, you know, I've gone through horrible things in life, you know, but it wasn't always that way, you know. 2017, I realized that um, you meet people who hate you for no reason, which is fine, you know what I mean? We don't, you don't have to, they don't have to like me, you know? Um, uh, I like myself, that's fine, you know, I don't need somebody who have this hatred for me when they to say like you know they like me or whatnot um anyhow um just kind of uh have to get to uh, my final destination so 17 days and then going back to uk and then from there um um gonna go with you know with my plan and um i think it's uh, is long overdue i thought about this for a long time and i just feel like um nothing is gonna change if i stay nothing is gonna change you know what i mean um they they enjoy these people they enjoy the pain and suffering they inflict on people. No, I could never understand that. I could never understand somebody who would enjoy, you know, to inflict pain on others. But I watched this movie, I can't remember the name of it. It was for, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but anyhow, it was for um, this big organization that hired hackers to break into people's computers and spy on them and find things that these people want to hide. And then they blackmail them with that. And then they, uh, they end up, um, you know, uh, trafficking women and men and stuff like that. And they put them on online auction. And this online auction is paid by all these wealthy people. Uh, to see horrible things happen to them. Uh, horrible things happen to the person that has been captured and has been chained up and stuff. I can't remember the name of it, but oh, anyhow. It's, um, and it just kind of hit me when I watched that movie. It hit me like, you know, dude, this is exactly what I'm dealing with. Um... You are in this program where um, people would, inf- would pay money to inflict pain-, pain on you. That's the saddest part. And then when they're going to release you from this program, they're going to pay you pocket change. But they made billions, you know. And um, anyhow, on, on top of that, they don't know how to apologize. How could you not know how to apologize for the things but you know would an apology make things better would an apology you know mend the pain and you know the the they have caused or the mental fucks that they put you through and um the humiliation and the suffering of your parents and your family and um just like messing with you 24 7 would i'm sorry cut it i don't think so would not cut it no i just i stay firm on my position i can just not forgive uh because it was intentional you know if you made a mistake you've done something to me and um you it's not intentionally caused you try you didn't try to hurt me intentionally whatnot i'm more than willing to forgive you know i it's not even open for discussion you know like yeah i forgive it you know you know i forgive you for this you know it's not intentional you understand but it was an intentional it kept repeating itself it kept repeating 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 and these witches and wizards attacking you you know and 
and people attacking you for no reason, people following you for no reason, and stuff like that. I'm thinking to myself, you know, Canada, if I've done something, why can't we go through the legal system? Why can't we go to the legal system? Take me to court. Say, you know, Budar, you've done this. Then I have my day in court. You know, at least I have a fair trial being able to say what actually happened or what's happening to me. So I wanted Canada to know that all this attack, it was it started by Canada. When I was in Alberta, in Calgary, Alberta, I did not attack anyone. The attack, it started in my house. And uh, these people kept doing stuff to me in my own house that I was paying mortgage for. And then they went to school, they went to work, and, and it became just a hate attacks, a hate attacks. And um, if you think about it, Canada, I have not started shit. I did not attack somebody. I mean, um, you know, yes, I verbally hurt people. I, yes, I verbally said, fuck off. I said a few hurtful words. But I don't think I'm, I was talking about a country as, as, as a whole. I was talking about individuals because I know they're listening to what I'm saying and when I lay out, lay the assault on them, it's intentional because of course I've been hurt and this is my only uh, outlet to express how I feel. That's a normal human behavior. It's not something I'm crazy or psychotic or, you know, you know, have all the shit, you know, happened. It was, you know, wrong with me and whatnot. It's not like that. It was something happened to me. I react to it. And I react to it in a vicious way. And I make no apologies. Because I did not break the law. I didn't go to these people's houses and do shit to them. I did not go hurt, you know, my family or hurt my mother or my, my dad or whatnot. I didn't go to any of those people out, you know, or uh, they came in and they attacked everybody, you know? How is that fair? You know, how is that fair, Canada? You know, you gotta own what you've done. You just gotta say, you know, we've done you wrong. And, um, I leave it at that. Do not push, push for like, I want to hear forgiveness. I want to do this and that. You know what? You feel like you've done me a favor. You have not done me anything. You have not done me a favor at all. I would be grateful you have done me a favor, but I don't feel like you have done me a favor. You experimented on me illegally and you made me sound like I'm a crazy person, you know? And that's something all I could have forgiven. All of that, experimenting on me, calling me names and humiliation, hatred, followed around and attacked, you know, and all of that would have been forgiven. But touching my family is not, it's like, is beyond disrespect. And that why I'm, I stay on my ground and I cannot, I cannot, and I cannot ever forgive, you know? And um, you know you, what you've done and you just need to own it. And you need to come out and say, you are sorry, we, we've done this to you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I look at events that happen in life, you know, in, in Canada, US or, or all those countries, the history keep repeating itself. You guys keep doing the same shit to other people all the time. And you repeat it, you continue to repeat it. This experimentation, isn't it done before on people globally? 
it was years ago and and it's repeated so it's mean like you people are not really sorry so I don't know why. anyhow I think I've talked enough um, what I wanted to talk about is um, I'm camping outside and um, I'm okay I don't feel um, I don't feel like I'm losing anything and I don't feel like it's um, this experience have um, uh, changed a lot of things in me you know but no you know what have changed and you know and made me feel things it's not this you know the death of my mother knowing that um, she was suffering and um, and I hear things from my family that my mom had said and they it made me like make me believe they they manipulated her dreams too because she said to my sister that she's gonna go and be with my dad and his stuff and uh, that's what happened to her when my sister told me this story it made me feel like oh my god they did this to my mother you know i just have to hear you know something like that it kind of just made me feel like uh god damn people what's wrong i honestly what's wrong with you i don't know nobody knows you know anyhow i'm not gonna mumble all night here right now uh the camp will be great for next for the next 16 days and wish me luck guys i'll keep you posted